Hey folks, got my Island Grill Stone all seasoned and ready to go. I uh, seasoned that up yesterday and I'm going to use this a little bit unconventionally. Now normally you would have this on your grill and you would bring the grill up to temp and get this thing screaming hot. But I'm going to take advantage of this slow uh, bringing it up to temperature by adding a chicken. I found this at my local grocery store. It's a whole boneless chicken stuffed with rice and pecans. And I think this will be perfect for this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start this grill. Get all burners lit. And I'm going to start it out on medium. Normally I would go completely high, but the cooking instructions for this chicken say to put it in a, an oven at 325 for an hour. So I'm going to just take the chicken, place it directly on the grill stove. I forgot my thermometer. I'm going to bring my thermometer out and uh, put this in. So stay tuned and I'll get this thing started. Okay, got my thermometer. I thought I brought this out, but uh, I did not. Uh, so I just want to put the probe into the chicken, right into the center. I'm going to set this off to the side. And I also want to keep track of the temperature of the grill stone. So I'm just going to add that probe right on the grill stone. And then close her down. And then check back in about an hour. So let's see how this goes. Now when that chicken is done, I'm going to take it off and uh, put it on a, uh, a cutting board and wrap it in fold to keep it warm. And then I'm going to do my side dish, which is going to be some grilled asparagus. So stay tuned and uh, let's see how this turns out. Chicken has been on for an hour and a half and it, I've got an internal temperature on the chicken of 167, which is perfect. It's completely done. The grill stone itself was hovering around 300. So now I'm going to Remove the probes and transfer the chicken, hopefully intact, to a cutting board. Ta da! And now I'm just going to scrape this off. Yeah, go ahead. Nice thing about doing this on the grill. Okay, I'm gonna take this in, the chicken in, cover that with some foil, and then I'll crank this up to high that bad boy screaming hot and then saute or grill some asparagus so stay tuned okay I got that grill stone screaming hot I scraped off the as much as I could of the, the chicken that was on there and then I've got some asparagus that I've simply coated with olive oil and seasoned with uh, some sea salt and fresh black pepper. So the grill stone is off, but it is still hot enough. It's going to continue grilling this asparagus. So check back here in a little bit, and I should be done.
Wow, listen to that sizzle. That's been a few minutes, just a couple minutes. I'm just going to kind of flip these around. Once again, that's just using the residual heat in the grill stone. I really like this, doing it this way because you don't have to worry about the, uh, the asparagus falling through the, the grates. You know, like I said, no lost soldiers. <laughs> Yeah, that stone is still screaming hot. I'm going to let this go for a few more minutes and then uh, plate this whole meal up. So please stay tuned. Okay, asparagus is done. And once again, that's just using the residual heat. Oh man, it smells great. I love grilled asparagus. That's I hated asparagus when I when I was growing up when I was a kid because just never had it cooked properly, I guess. But when you grill it with just a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, oh man. Now for the grill stone, I'm just gonna let this cool down, and when it's cooled down completely, I'm gonna flip it over and then start with a nice clean slate on the other side. Like I said, you'll never have to clean this, you'll never have to wash this again. So I'll flip that over, it'll burn off all this and be ready to go next time. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up, probably take some photos and uh, let you see the finished product. <laughs> 